Hello everyone, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to talk about Hets Oasis, Jagex's first update for next year, which will ultimately replace what is currently the Duel Arena. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video, let's go. Alright guys, as the story goes, a mysterious earthquake has destroyed the Duel Arena, leaving it in ruins around Het's tomb. Ixlarian is investigating to retrieve a powerful object that could help in the Elder God Wars dilemma. If you want to help out, you're going to have to pitch in and help transforming this desert wasteland into Het's Oasis. So starting from January 4th, a two-week event known as the Oasis Restoration will begin, bringing this whole new area to light. By completing daily tasks, you'll turn the former ruins into a place of plenty to harvest some red hot desert themed goodies. This area will be home to three new skilling methods and two new mini quests that further the Elder God War saga. Looking at the Oasis restoration itself, the limited time two week event, as I said, it kicks off January 4th and you'll be clearing up the Shattered Duel Arena to create a glistening desert paradise. The event has a community chest where players can unlock both individual and community rewards by completing tasks or participating in permanent skilling activities around the Oasis. For the mini quests, there are two new permanent mini quests which continue the Elder God Wars narrative, I of Het 1 and I of Het 2. The first mini quest will be available day 1 and the second one will come week 2 on January 10th. As far as the skilling activities, you can do them on day 1 and they're all permanent solo content. There's a new agility course in which you traverse the rubble of the ruined duel arena, a new hunter method where you can control a crocodile that swims around the Oasis catching scarabs. There are six new scarabs to find, each requiring a higher hunter level. The hunter scarabs are customizable. Players can individually change them to suit their hunter level by storing flowers in various spots around the oasis. And there is a new farming method where you passively tend to flower bushes and harvest new types of flowers. There are five new flowers and four different bushes, each requiring a higher farming level. In terms of rewards, for the mini quests, I have had one will give you a medium XP lamp, while the second will award you another XP lamp and a new archaeology relic that increases the HP recovered when consuming foods and drinks. Rewards from the Oasis Restoration, the two-week event, include new cosmetic items and a drop enhancer for the Elder God Wars dungeon. The cosmetics are obtained from the community chest. You can get the Of the Ruin title, as well as an armor set override, War of Het, and some Gator Croc cosmetic shoes. There's also a crocodile pet named Chomper with two different cosmetic appearances. The drop enhancer I mentioned earlier works like so. Players can gather drop enhancer fragments by skilling from the Oasis activities. Ten fragments can be combined to make an inactive drop enhancer. These are tradable or they can be turned into untradable active versions. When worn, players have a 10% increased chance of finding unique drops from bosses in the Elder God Wars dungeon. This only applies to uniques, not normal drops, and only to the bosses. And do note that all drop enhancers will be removed from the game at the end of the two week event, so use them while you can. Looking at the skilling rewards, there's a new Holy Scarab Familiar. This is used from the scarab shells dropped from the hunter activity. This will require level 80 summoning, and a couple things to note, it lowers the drain rate of your prayer points when you have prayer active, and its special move is Bone Conjure, which will add a random bone to your inventory when activated. The scarab shells can also be ground down into a new prayer powder. This is a new consumable which can be scattered around the player and give a 30 minute boost to specific defensive and healing prayers. Powder of defense provides an additional plus two defense boost when using thick skin, rock skin, steel skin. Powder of protection boosts damage protection by 60% when using protect from and deflect from prayers. The powder of item protection protects one extra item when using the protect item prayer. Powder of pull Pulverizing grinds all bones in your inventory when using the Ectofungus. Powder of Burials boosts your prayer XP to 250% when burying bones. And the Powder of Penance restores prayer points equal to 2.5% of damage received. And lastly for the rewards we have Honeycomb. The new flowers can be used in the player owned farm beehive to make honeycombs. They can be fed to farm animals to increase their chances of producing offspring with a specific trait. Fertile Honeycombs boost your breeding chance 
candied honeycombs give you a higher chance the offspring will have the joyful traits, nutrition for a higher chance of immune trait, Moorish honeycomb for a higher chance to have multiple traits, and a shimmering honeycomb for a higher chance to have a shiny offspring. And those are your rewards. In terms of requirements, this is a members only piece of content. However, free to play players are welcome to visit the updated area and take a look around. In terms of skills for agility, you'll need level 65. Farming will range from 30, 50, 70, and 90, and Hunter will range from 1, 30, 50, 70, and 90. Requirements for the quest, the Eye of Het 1 will require City of Sentistan and 65 agility, while the Eye of Het 2 will simply require Eye of Het 1. And that is pretty much all you really need to know. It is our next game update, meaning that there is none next week. So, looking forward to that. Once again, there's a two-week temporary event, January 4th, ending January 16th at 23.59 GMT, where Hets Oasis will remain as permanent content afterwards. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I'm out. Aloha.